Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The Honorable Mr. Maulana Yusuf Aditya, MPD And to all the viewers First of all, let us Let me praise and thanks The presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Almighty for the Abundance of grace and joy of all of us Can still gather in this place Without any barriers at all And in these good health conditions Not forgetting that salat and greetings We pour out to the Prophet Muhammad who has brought up from the darkness ages to the era of bright light day to day, namely Islam. May we all get the intersections on the aim. Amin. On this special occasion, allow me to say a word or more about the importance of peace and reconciliations that we must bring the solutions to all conflicts. We all have come together to find a common solution to very crucial problem. After the meeting, we discussed the problem which then appears so big when the problem of peer in Zarnabul's conflicts remain as a conflict and continuing for centuries. The one with his heart, however, here we are, here we have uh, people from various fields and from diverse culture and religious backgrounds, social and economic straight all coming together sincerely looking for a solution because we want a peace enough is enough we have had so much violence today we have two types of extremism one kind of compromised religious extremists while the other context of communist is extremists and then there are ethnic conflict these are the three major type of conflicts that we need we need to look into it this is what is plunging thought as or South Asia. We also feel that the problem of poverty, there are certain forces which, for political reasons, personal gains, or other reasons, use the poverty of people for their own ends by not giving them the right picture, the right direction to move ahead, to move ahead for us. Here we all have to bring a sense and come up with a solution to the conflict, the world life itself. It's a full of contradictions and conflict, and it is a wisdom that helps to us to sail through the seas. We need to look at with the three seas. What is the three seas? First, the three seas is a cosmic or a border that the reason of problems. The second seas is commitment. Without commitment, you will not be able to move a step forward. We need to have a commitment for peace. And the third seas is compassion. Without compassion, you cannot understand another person's point of view. So, often, often of you will listen to conflicting point of view, you will find that everyone is correct from their own viewpoint. If you listen to the towels, you will side of them. But if you listen to like Islamic and or Muhammadan, you will side by them. If you listen to the, a kind of Christian or Hindu or Buddha, you will side by them. If you listen to the government, you will will be side by them. Everybody has their own logic, their own point of view. We have to find a way where we can meet and come together in peace. Since 1998, Indonesians have attempted to rebuild the relationship torn apart by the violence. More recently, CRS and its partners, Saudi, a local civil society organization working with the Sultan Palace in Solo to launch a public awareness campaign aimed at highlighting diversity tolerance and the need for peace. In August, in August CRS and Saudi distributed 5,000 protesters and 400 t-shirts and 10,000 stickers as part of this public awareness campaign and kick it off a one-week culture festival. In a speed of the Sultan and Governor of Solo marking the opening of the festival, Rob Watson, a CRS Regional Technical Advisor for Peace Building in Southeast Asia and Indonesia, State. Indonesia is a place rich in ethnic and religious diversity, a true rainbow of different cultures, style and traditions, each with their own value and unique contribution to make society. With such diversity also comes a challenge to find a way to living together and balances is out balance. Conflict is a place where the problems are not addressed. If you want a peace, let those bridges of cooperation between the different groups involved for fairness and the prosperity of all. Due to the success of the campaign, 1,000 peace volunteers will expand the program into other areas 
and will continue campaigning to highlight the theme of peace through diversity among yachts. CRS and Sabadi have also been invited to coordinate with the Department of Education on adding a peace component to a curriculum for high school teachers. This work echoes activity taking place throughout Indonesia. Sponsored by CRS as well as other agencies and partners in the region. At the end, if we really, really want a peace, peace, let put bridges of cooperation between different groups and work for fairness and privacy of all. Sincerely, pray and take responsibility to bring and bring peace to the very tear into a smile and dream of terrorist free, violence free world. That's all for my speech today. I hope it can be useful for all of us. Thank you for your attention and good wishes for all of you. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.